welcome back to the channel today we have a very interesting question many of you might be familiar with the pulley problems in most of them you might have solved it using the tension is a constant in the string but why is it so or is it really a constant the important thing is the assumptions that we start the problem with in many cases we assume that the string is massless also the pulley is frictionless so let's take a look at the problem to see whether the tension is really a constant okay so imagine this is a string we have let's take a small segment of the string we can imagine that this segment is pulled apart by the ropes on either side with a tension t1 and t2 and let's take the mass of this segment as dm so if we look at the segment of the string we can find that the net force acting on the segment is given by t1 minus t2 and this net force will be equal to the product of mass of the segment that is dm into the acceleration this is where the assumptions come really important we assumed a massless string therefore the m is zero or and in this case the dm will be equal to zero and therefore the total force acting on the segment should be zero or else we will have an infinite acceleration it's never really the case so we see that as the mass tends to zero we get the total force f going to zero and if we use this in the previous equation f is equal to t1 minus t2 we can see that the t1 minus t2 equal to zero or t1 equal to t2 that is the tension on both sides of the string are equal this argument is valid for every segment of the string so we can say that the tension in the string is constant throughout in a practical case the mass of string or a rope is never zero but we would often see that the mass of the string is much much less than the rest of the mass we are dealing with in the system so it is a valid assumption to assume that the string is massless and therefore the tension is constant but this argument is valid only if the pulley is considered as a massless frictionless pulley so i will leave you with few questions today so you have to think about each of these three different cases the first one the pulley is frictionless but it has a mass in the second case the pulley has friction but no mass and the third case the pulley has both mass and friction so you have to find out in which of the cases the tension will be a constant and in which case it is not so leave your answers in the comment section also give your valuable suggestions and doubts okay then see you next time